Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another unboxing episode where I unbox my various streetwear and sneaker purchases. In today's episode, I'm going to be unboxing a vintage Jeff Hamilton NBA black satin patch bomber jacket. <laughs> Guys, I can't stop myself. I'm a goddamn Jeff Hamilton jacket. I know I try and come across as being like, don't be a brand loyalist, don't be a design loyalist, but I'm not doing it out of just, oh, it's Jeff Hamilton, I'll buy it because it's Jeff Hamilton. I'm buying it because I do really love Jeff Hamilton's designs. He's, he, he has a really unique approach and take on sportswear, and I really just love vintage sportswear, vintage clothing, everything like that so when i see his vintage jackets i'm just like man how could i not and also a lot of people on ebay actually sell them for really reasonable prices there's like different levels of jeff hamilton jackets so there's like the the generic uh nylon ones with like one logo on the back one logo on the front they, they go for around like 40 50 bucks then there's like the like round about the hundred dollar to two hundred dollar range where they include like a little bit of leather uh, they have multiple patches on them they have multiple different logos and it's really crazy and then there's like the high tier ones i own, only own like one high tier one and they're like the full leather patch covered applique covered logo ones and then there's oh there's even a tier higher than that which is the limited edition ones and i own no limited edition ones limited edition ones are so hard to come by and also once someone uh, like when someone tries to resell a limited edition jeff hamilton jacket they just go for ridiculous prices on ebay guys i would love to one day own a limited edition one but they're just so pricey man one recently sold on grailed for six grand it was the most expensive item that sold that week on grailed it sold for six grand it was the lakers championship one from the early 2000s um, the one that um, Kobe Bryant wore, and it's just, his jacket scope is so much. Today, though, I'm going to be unboxing one that is nowhere near as expensive. It was a very cheap one. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, of course. I'm not paying six grand for a jacket on my income. No way. Um, yeah, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing, as I said, a NBA black satin patch bomber. And it's styled in like a varsity jacket style, which I thought was really cool. Now, if you guys want me to continue uh, unboxing my various streetwear and sneaker releases, don't forget to, um, you know, you'll leave a like on this video, comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to the channel, because we're trying to aim for 2,400 subs by the end of July. Hopefully we can hit it, but we'll just have to see. Uh, it'd also be a really good indicator to let me know that you guys want to, you know, keep seeing what I end up buying and what I end up purchasing. But let's, let's get into it. Let's unbox this vintage Jeff Hamilton jacket and see what it looks like. So the whole reason that I bought this jacket was because um, you guys know my uh, patchwork um, Jeff Hamilton jacket which has all the NBA logos on it. I regularly showcase that on the channel. Um, it's, it's quite loud because it's got all the like different patches of color. And what really appealed to me about this Jeff Hamilton jacket is it's a nylon bomber. It's done in like a varsity jacket style. So it's got like sports cuffs and stuff like that. And it's all black. So it's a little bit easier to wear and the patches don't stand out as much. But I'll showcase that to you now. So the guy has double bagged it. Um, and we'll just open it up here. Here we go. Here it comes. Bam. Pack all those single-use bags out. So, slowly unfold it here. Damn. Damn, this is... Oh my god. <laughs> so, I'll quickly showcase it to you from a distance. This is what it looks like. It's covered in leather patches of all the NBA teams at the time of when this jacket released. I don't know what era this jacket released, but you could look at a bunch of the logos and teams and basically make a pretty good assessment on which era it came from. On the inside, this is a really nice nylon though. Damn, damn. Uh, Jeff Hamilton jackets with this logo in particular, I always find some of the best uh, Jeff Hamilton jackets. Whatever era this is here, I always think this era is the best era of Jeff Hamilton jackets. There's one with an older logo, and I'm yet to own one of those. Those are like the OG ones. But damn, oh my god, this nylon feeling wild. 
Uh, it's got a little tag on it that just says professional dry cleaning only. <laughs> but yeah, my god, this nylon on the inside feels really, really good. But I guess we've only got one more thing to do. And that's try it on. But can I just say quite quickly, it's got that vintage smell. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll chuck it on. This is a 2XL. I'm about 6'5". Jeff Hamilton jackets are really hard to size. I would definitely ask the seller to get your uh, to get the measurements of the jacket before purchasing one. But I'm about 6'5'9". I generally wear an American XL or 2XL, but I can fit into a, up to a Jeff Hamilton 4XL. The 4XL is just super oversized. That is what the jacket. So you can see, you can see a glimmer when I move. You can see the satin glimmering. <laughs> That's sick. Oh my god. So that is all the logos there. Now some of the logos, as I mentioned, are falling apart, but. That's just what it's like after so many years. But what I really like about this satin bomber is, as I said, it's primarily black. There's not a lot of color to it besides the various logos that are all over it. And what I like is that it's got cuffs in how like a varsity jacket's done. It's not really a typical bomber. Um, it is a little bit long. That's the downside to Jeff Hamilton jackets. They're a little bit long, but that's awesome for tall people like me. Um, if you're a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, they're a little bit harder to size correctly just because of how long they are. But I feel like this all black fit, oh actually I'm wearing dark navy jeans, but I feel like an all black fit uh, with this and maybe like, I don't know man, maybe some like bread ones. Yeah, like a little bit of contrast. That would be sick. I don't own the bread fours, but the bread fours as well. Look at that heel drag. <laughs> we'll leave that there for a second. Ooh, actually. Bunch of random colors because of the patches, right? Maybe the top threes? Maybe the top threes would be a six shoe to wear with it. But I could also wear this over the top of a bunch of hoodies. I am wearing it over the top of a sweater at the moment. But wear this over the top of, um, a, like, a hoodie and have the hoodie hanging out of it. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a vibe. And maybe just, like, keep it all, all neutral, you know? Maybe just, like, wear them with some, like, Chuck 70 cons or something. No, like something basic, something easy, all round. I'm pretty happy with this, man. I, I, I wanted the. Actually, I'll showcase it to you quite quickly. So, yeah. So, I bought this one here because I wanted a more wearable version of this one here. Now, these look like they're from the same Jeff Hamilton era because they have the same tag as you, as I showed on this one. It has the same tag as this one. But yeah, essentially I bought this one because I wanted a more wearable, let more toned down version of this bad boy here. As much as I love this jacket and I do wear this whenever I can now, this one's just so much easier to wear. Because imagine if I popped this one on onto this outfit, this would just be super, super loud. But this is a lot nicer, it's a lot more toned down. I'm gonna wear this this weekend, man. This is a super sick piece. The patches, unfortunately, they're falling apart, but what can you do? But that's it. That is the vintage Jeff Hamilton NBA patch black satin bomber jacket in a 2XL. <laughs> Give me your thoughts and opinions, guys. What do you think of the actual jacket itself? Would this be something that you would wear? Or is it just a little bit too loud, even with the small patches and stuff like that? For you, are you just like, eh, I wouldn't wear something like that. It's a little bit too loud. Like the all over patches are just a little bit too much for me. Let me know. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on this Jeff Hab Hamilton Satin Bomber down in that comment section below. And that's it, guys. That is it unboxed. I've got to say, I'm quite happy with it because it is a lot more toned down than my other Jeff Hamilton jacket. I think it's actually... And it is big enough for me to button up. Not that I would button it up. I'm not a huge fan of buttoning up bomber jackets. But this is a super sick piece. Uh, this particular jacket, I've seen other ones appear on eBay in like a, a satin light blue. A white. They did come in other colors. But again, remember, Jeff Hamilton doesn't design his stuff anymore. If you're picking up Jeff Hamilton stuff, you're picking it up second hand. They're, they're hard to come by. Uh, well, the good ones are hard to come by. There's a bunch of generic ones that I was talking about, like the low tier ones. But the higher tier ones are harder and harder to find as the years go on. So, I don't know. I'm sort of collecting them. But they're also just, like, really easy to wear outwear pieces. And if you're a fan of, like, vintage, um, like, NBA stuff, vintage sportswear stuff, 
vintage varsity and bomber jackets and stuff they kind of just have that awesome mix they all collide together vintage sportswear vintage bombers they all just come together and it like works really really well and i just realized where is it yeah <laughs> there's the bulls <laughs> crazy spots they have them in absolutely crazy spots but yeah no this is a super awesome piece uh shame that the leather on all the patches is cracking but it's, it's understandable but i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it on it guys do you guys own any jeff hamilton would you be looking to pick any up do you like his designs let me know let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in that comment section below and of course if you want me to keep unboxing the various uh vintage jeff hamilton pieces that i pick up don't forget to leave a big old like on the video comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2400 subs by the end of july Hopefully we can hit that milestone, but I'm just happy that we hit 2,300 last month, guys. That was a crazy milestone to hit. Thank you so much for the continuous support. But that's it. That's it unboxed. That is the vintage Jeff Hamilton NBA patch black satin bomber jacket. So until the next Jeff Hamilton jacket, until the next unboxing video, until the next streetwear talk video, guys, I'll catch you later.